It's obviously still very early uh, phase of the investigation, so we're still establishing what happened. What we do know is at about 7.30 p.m. we received the call that there was a loud crash and a noise. We've since established that a helicopter has crashed at the scene, and we now know that there are four deceased within the helicopter, all of whom are males. Can you describe the crash scene for us? It's very large geographically, and it's rural by location, and it does cover some of the more um, major road networks within this part of the county. So there will be disruption to the traffic. There will be road closures in place, which obviously are being put out through the media, so people who have to travel are aware of where and when they cannot go. And the site itself is still to be established because of the darkness and the weather conditions from last night, making it very difficult to actually say what we have at the scene at this present time. So there could be debris on surrounding roads? Yes, there could be, and that's again part of the investigation. The cordon is very large at this present time, and we're trying to establish exactly where our site sits. Is the wreckage more or less intact, or is it uh, widely spread? Again, there will be no more comment on that until we actually establish what, what is going on. The air investigation branch will be in to see what's happening and our investigators from within the police service will be seeing what they can establish. What can you tell us about the helicopter? Just the make and the model really. It's an Augusta Westland AW139 helicopter. Now that's usually used for corporate and VIP purposes, so it was a civilian helicopter? My understanding of that is it is, yes, but I think they do have several uses. Do you know the, uh, the, route, uh, the, the route plan? Uh, there's uh, talk that it might have taken off from Gillingham Hall and been en route to Northern Ireland. At this present time, we're not giving any information about the route, the destination or the processes the flight was taking.